This is my assessment in regards to the, the assignment in our textbook. Are you at risk for diabetes? Well, I call it, am I at risk for diabetes? After taking the assessment, I was not surprised of the results. Out of 10 questions, I answered yes to six of them. I do have diabetes in my family medical history. My paternal grandmother died from complications of diabetes. Because of her complications from diabetes, my grandmother went blind and her legs were amputated. I remember this clearly. The treatment for diabetes in the 1970s was not as advanced as it, as it is today. Since she lived in the Philippines, the treatment for diabetes was limited. Lately, I have been feeling fatigued and tired. I have been struggling to get a decent night of sleep. My doctor diagnosed me with hypothyroidism about four years ago. I push through my day even though I'm tired, and I keep moving through my day even though I may feel as I need to sit down. I should be on thyroid medication, but I refuse to use medication. I'm trying to deal with the hypothyroidism with diet and exercise. I do visit the restroom often in the day. I do drink more than eight glasses of water a day. In fact, I try to drink as much water as suggested for my body weight. I do wake up in the middle of the night to relieve myself. My father and my mother, who are diabetic, often get up at night to urinate. My vision has often been checked. I do have, a stigma, have astigmatism. Uh, my, my optometrist told me that they schedule me for eye exams often because of my diagnosis of diabetes. Sometimes I feel that my vision has been blurry. My guess it's been may be from eye fatigue from working at the computer all day. My optometrist says that the blurry vision may occur at times when my sugar levels are off. Overweight? Yes, I've been overweight for most of my life. I am 5'1". Last week I w weighed myself. The scale read 228 pounds. The BMI chart says I'm obese. Although I'm heavy, I continue to be active and eat healthy, a, he a healthy diet as best as possible. I cannot say I'm perfect, but I do try to keep active as much as possible. My skin is itchy and dry. I do have atopic eczema. I treat it every day with moisturizers and topical steroids, and even UVB treatments. Eczema is an autoimmune issue. I see my dermatologist on a quarterly basis to maintain my skin health. I do incorporate vitamin D in my health regimen by taking in as much sun as possible and taking supplements. The impact of diabetes mellitus on my health has made me more diligent on strengthening my physical, spiritual, and emotional wellness. It's been my personal goal not to have my family medical history make me a statistic. I want to treat type 2 diabetes with physical fitness and incorporating a healthy diet. Will it be perfect? No, <laughs> but I do my best to try. Spiritually, I feel that being conscious of being a diabetic puts me in check with my internal spirit. It makes me mindful on how my actions impact the world and the people I love. By setting an example, it's not quitting to to not quitting um, and to continue to grow in my health that can make a difference. Emotionally, being conscious of it does not make me feel sad. I'm determined to fight back and perhaps beat the odds. I do not want to be forced to be on medication. I don't want to be insulin dependent. I don't want to be on dialysis. And I don't want to have diabetes be the reason I die. The lifestyle changes I will continue to do and increase in my life is to walk more with my dogs and without them. I hope to get my mile back to 15 minutes. I want to train for a half marathon again, perhaps in 2017. And I will additionally keep physically active by adding more resistance training and more dance, dancing for cardio 
back in my life. The most important thing is to be more diligent in my diet. I don't even like to say diet. I do not feel cutting back on food is an issue, uh, but it's being mindful of the choices I make when I make my meals that will help me succeed. Uh, making my meals tasty and visually appealing contribute to making eating healthy more fun. I choose these changes for myself. If I can be an influence for my family and friends, I will feel fulfilled. And thank you for listening. Um, this is me, V, Thriving and Surviving.